All right, I was sitting here racking my brain trying to figure, like, you know, what story I was going to tell y'all next, and I came up with another one um, of another married chick. Um, didn't know she was married either, but I was at my uh, ex, my brother's ex-wife's house, them, back when they were married, back when they stayed over there behind the cattle station, and I'm sitting there chilling and shit, and, you know, somebody's over that's supposed to be my brother's ex-wife's uh, cousin, but she claimed a lot of people were her cousin. This bullshit wasn't her damn cousin, but... Anyways, like, you know, I'm dropping a little philosophy, talking a little bit of shit, you know, I got my buzz on, I'm feeling good, you know, that's what I usually do when I, that's where, that was the place I used to go to to always drop my philosophy, she so happened to be there, and I could tell she was digging it, so, you know, she came over, she got to sitting on my lap and stuff, and I'm like, okay, you know, my dick all hard and shit like that, and I'm sitting there like, you know, the whole time thinking, I get ready to walk her out the door, you know, and on the way out the door, you know, she leans in to give me a kiss, and I get right to her lips as soon as we start to kiss it, and that's when my brother's uh, wife at the time runs out the door. She's like, hey, you know you should stop that. You know you married. I'm like, I back up. I'm like, you married? And she's like, um... And I'm like, hold on, what do you, what do you mean? And I'm like, nigga, you married, nigga? You married? And she kind of just smiled and walked off. Check this shit out, though. It wasn't no more than like maybe a week later, maybe even just a couple of days. I can't remember because it was so long ago, but it wasn't that long after. She fucked around and brought the nigga over. I'm sitting there looking at, and then what made it more fucked up is I knew the nigga. I'm sitting up here like, shit, because my, used to be my homeboy, he turned out to be a fake ass homeboy, but my, he used to be my homeboy, it was my homeboy's brother. I knew him from back in the day, back in the Hickory Woods days, and I'm sitting up here like, this hoe got some nerve on her. I'm sitting there like, for real, my nigga? And I'm like, you know, she was all up in my shit, like... And what killed me about the whole situation is, like, everything that could have went down. And I, I guess something must have been said to him, because later on, like, I went to shake his hand. He didn't want to shake my hand, you know? And this was, like, probably, like, a year or something later. And I started kicking up with his brother even tougher at this point. And his brother was like, no, nah, I don't think... You know, I guess he went back and talked to him. Was I'm saying, and he's like, "Yeah, it has something to do with his wife, his ex-wife at that time." And I'm sitting up here like, "Well, shit, I didn't know it was his wife." I mean, I didn't know how to explain that to him when I seen him either, because what do you tell a nigga as soon as you see him and shit? And it wasn't like me and him was that close neither. Like, what do I do? Do I just straight up just tell this nigga, like, "Yeah, your wife was all on me, nigga, last week." You know what I mean? We got to fight and all types of shit. Nine times out of ten, who knows, nigga? Murder might have popped up in that bitch. This is the hood, and that shit do pop up. Shit does get real. And the only thing it does is take one bad circumstance. But she was willing to do that. For what reason? For what cause? What purpose? You know what I mean? And then bring him over there. You see what I'm saying? This is like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, trust issues, man. This is just one of the, like I say, one of the many stories. I'll drop another one tomorrow.